Remember kids, no ketchup on a hot dog. Don't forget those tomatoes. It's as old school Chicago as you can get. Right, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> What's really good, YouTube? It's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to Chicago, the undisputed hot dog capital of the world. Today, we're gonna be taking you on a Frankfurter tour of the Windy City. Everything from Chicago-style dogs to surprises you won't be expecting. Obviously, there are more hot dog stands in Chicago than there are bears in the Hall of Fame. So if you wanna see a part two, let's go ahead and get this film to over 1,500 likes. And now, hot diggity dog, let's eat some food. The first stop on a Chicago-style hot dog tour is at Jimmy's Red Hots. This is an institution. They've been around since 1954. Jimmy's is the exact type of spot that we love to support. Family-owned restaurant. Matter of fact, my parents used to come here after school to get hot dogs, french fries, and pop. And I used to come here as a baby, too, so it's great to be back. No ketchup here, no fancy pics for the gram. Can't wait to try it. Let's go inside. Now their specialty is the Chicago style depression dog. That's Vienna beef hot dog with mustard, onions, relish, and sport peppers. Of course, hand cut fries on the side. Jimmy's is cash only. And don't even think about asking for ketchup here because you're not gonna get it. If you absolutely want something to dip your fries in, they have a special habanero sauce that they'll give to you. Jimmy's red hot depression dog. So good, so classic. Let's take a bite. That is a classic for a reason. Incredible hand cut fries. Jimmy's is as old school Chicago as you can get. I'm hyped to try this depression style hot dog. There's no frills. <laughs> Look, there's some fries stuck in there. That sport pepper is kind of spicy. The snap of that Vienna beef hot dog. Woo! The next stop on a hot dog tour of Chicago is Lola's Coney Island on Chicago and Grand Avenue. They've been around since 2019 and their founder, Jesse, was born and raised in Detroit. Although we are in Chicago, of course, we gotta show love to the Motor City. You can get Chicago-style hot dogs anywhere in the Windy City, but there's not a lot of places where you can get a Detroit style. We got a couple of Coney dogs. What is a Coney dog, you might ask? The beef and pork hot dog with mustard, diced yellow onions, and the piece de resistance, a beautiful savory chili. The restaurant is named after Jesse's firstborn, Lola, and the food truck is named after their second child, Joey. Now that food truck goes all around. You can catch them at festivals. Before I even take a bite, I got a comment on how beautiful this looks. That yellow mustard shining through, nice chili. Again, no ketchup. I am super hyped because I have never tried a Detroit-style hot dog. Coney dog, let's go. Mm. Mm. The dog itself definitely has a different flavor from a all beef Vienna hot dog because there's pork in there too, and you can definitely taste that. Then of course the mustard hits you, but it's that chili that really sets this dog apart. Now what is the perfect side dish for a hot dog? French fries, or for my British friends, chips. When Lewis told me we were gonna get Coney dogs, I thought, sweet, Brooklyn style Coney Island hot dogs. What I didn't know was that a Coney Island is a type of restaurant that specializes in Coney dogs. Hot diggity dog. Mmm. <laughs> That chili though. A Coney dog is so different from a Chicago style hot dog because it's got loads of chili on the top of it as well as mustard and some onions. Should we go to Detroit to try some more Detroit style foods? This is some Motor City magic. Vienna Beef made its debut at the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago's Jackson Park. A year later, they opened up their storefront Vienna Sausage Company at 417 South Halstead. Since then, they've been serving up the best Frankfurters in the entire world. Gusto Nation, we have a bonus hot dog for you. So they saw us filming here at Lola's Coney Island and asked if we want to try anything else on the menu. I figured, hey, since we're filming a hot dog tour today, we may as well get in a New York style hot dog, which they also specialize in. This is an all beef hot dog with sauerkraut onions and spicy mustard. You may recall in our New York City iconic foods film, we ate a hot dog in Yorkville and it was absolutely delicious. New York style hot dog from Lola's Coney Island. There's a great snap on this hot dog and all the ingredients blend perfectly. Great New York style hot dog right here in Chicago.
We are at the Wiener Circle in Lincoln Park, another Chicago institution. Now this place has quite a reputation, especially if you come after hours, you're gonna get some nice entertainment. We're here during the middle of the day. It's actually beautiful today. Now, if you haven't been to the Wiener Circle in a long time, you might not know if they recently renovated and now have a full bar plus a back patio, complete with a basketball hoop, a lot of patio furniture, which we're chilling on right now. And we got two Chicago dogs, one steamed and one charred, both with everything on it. Now, what is a Chicago style hot dog? That is an all beef Vienna dog with mustard, onions, neon green relish, sport peppers, pickles, tomatoes, and of course, that celery salt to top it all off, all on a beautiful poppy seed bun. We also got a side of beautiful french fries, but it's all about the hot dogs today, so let's get into it. Like I've said before, a Chicago-style hot dog is a work of art. Look at that. Chicago-style hot dog, baby. Absolutely amazing. Another way to refer to a Chicago-style hot dog is drag through the garden. The toppings on a Chicago-style hot dog are a perfect symphony of flavors. The celery salt is like the cherry on top of the sundae. If it's not there, it's not the same. It's not often that we get char dogs. I prefer them steamed, but check that out. That is the char dog with everything on it. Chicago-style char dog. Are you team steamed or team char? Let us know in the comments below. What's going on, Gusto Nation? Thank you so much for watching the channel and supporting us wherever we go in the world, be it London, New York City, or right home in Chicago. Just wanted to take a quick break to remind you to hit that little red subscribe button if you haven't already. More than 80% of you watching aren't subscribed to the channel. We're trying to get to 100,000 by the end of 2022. You don't often see faces like mine in front of the camera talking about travel, history, and the best restaurants and experiences all around the world. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button. And now, back to the show. Our hot dog journey has brought us to the south side of Chicago, the 35th Street, just a baseball throw away from White Sox Park. We're at 35th Street Red Hots, which actually started in 2005. Now they have three locations around the city. On the north side, you may know them better as Red Hot Ranch. Even though they started off slinging Chicago-style depression dogs, they're more famous now for their burgers. But today it's all about the hot dogs. I guess we're gonna have to do the burger tour another day. Depression dog, the way it was meant to be. Vienna beef hot dog with mustard, onions, sport peppers. Of course, them hand-cut french fries on top, you know? It's just one of those grab-and-go meals. Red Hot Ranch is a White Sox game day tradition going back to 2005. You can get yourself a couple hot dogs, burgers, drinks, and head over to Comiskey Park. Catch the White Sox play ball. Salud. Mm. Oh yeah. I know we've been eating hot dogs all day, but wow, I do not get tired of them. One of our signatures on this channel is no matter what type of food tour we're doing, we always try our best to include one that would work as a date spot. So we're here at the Duck Inn in Bridgeport to try some gourmet hot dogs and enjoy the ambiance. We're always getting comments like, oh, Louis, you should do the best date spots in Chicago or New York City. Well, we include date spots in all of our films. So just watch them and you'll get some good ideas. Let's go inside the Duck Inn. Duck. Duck in yet another family-owned restaurant in Chicago, and we're here to try their gourmet Chicago-style hot dog. This one has a little bit of a twist because it is an all-beef hot dog, but there's some duck fat in there too. It comes on a brioche poppy seed bun with all the classic ingredients you've come to expect. Onions, relish, pepper, pickle, and of course, mustard. Where else besides Chicago can you get a gourmet-style hot dog like this? Now that is different. There was such a snap on that casing. They basically combined duck fat and beef and then grill it up to perfection before popping it on the brioche bun and topping it with all these delicious ingredients from the mustard to the homemade relish and onions. Wow, gotta get another bite. Absolutely amazing. This is like a jumbo hot dog too. The Duck Inn is a super chill spot. They got obviously lots of other things on the menu, but we wanted to try the hot dog. We got some other stuff too, but that's uh, for off camera eating. It's all about the hot dogs today, baby. Basically with the toppings, you got a tomato, relish, onion type of salsa on top. It really works with the duck fat flavor. Very, very good. Brioche bun too. 
We hope you enjoyed this hot dog tour of Chicago. Remember kids, no ketchup on a hot dog. Of all the hot dogs we ate today, which one was your favorite? And let us know in the comments what type of food tour you want to see next. Peace and blessings.